At a green bean farm in Kenya, farmers follow produce standards that are becoming more common worldwide, making food that is safer to eat and easier to trace. Given the long journeys produce can undergo, tracing a food's path is more important than ever. If you buy an apple at a Western-style market, that item might have been shipped to a packaging plant, loaded into carts, run through a sorting process, washed, and any number of people handling and inspecting the apple. Then it might go along a conveyor belt on its way to more people who box the fruit or to a different group who bag it. Apples are then shipped in a truck, taken to the store, and put on the shelf. At Rice Fruit Company, food safety manager Lee Showalter says produce is tagged, so if there's ever a problem with the product, its journey from tree to table can be traced. The label will show us the grower name, the variety of apple, also a block designator and the date that it was received. Throughout the process, these plants and factories have to follow what are called GAP standards, a self-imposed industry practice overseen by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. GAP stands for Good Agricultural Practices, but food standards are not exactly the same worldwide, but they are changing for the better. There's a, a global GAP harmonization project that's been underway for about two years now. Ray Gilmer of the United Fresh Produce Association says the international program gets all the different auditors together to agree on a single standard. And if you're a single large farm, for example, uh, you might have 10 different buyers of your product and 10 different GAP audits you have to comply with. In Kenya, a leading exporter of green beans, farmers follow European GAP certified standards similar to GAP standards in the United States. Gilmer says putting everyone on the same page benefits the grower and the consumer. For example, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you might ship a, a truckload of lettuce or tomatoes and 20 percent of them might be lost in spoilage. That, that would be typical. These days it could be far less than that, but, and that's the result of better standards, reducing uh, the introduction of bacteria, uh, improving uh, the temperatures and the shipping times. And so yes, those cost more, but at the end you've actually made more on your load of tomatoes that you shipped. So you make it up in the end. Now Foods in Pennsylvania is a processing plant that gets fruit from growers around the United States and then processes them into a variety of products such as apple juice and then ships them to buyers around the world. Nows can trace a finished product or its ingredients through a printed code. In the store, new technology is giving consumers greater knowledge about where food was picked. By simply scanning your smartphone over a barcode, you can know where the item came from, the day it was picked, and when it was shipped. Food contamination is in no one's interest. Recalls cost a company money and their reputation. In the U.S. alone, foodborne illness can cost $150 billion in a year, or nearly $2,000 for each person getting sick from contamination. But Ray Gilmer says food can never be 100% safe. And there's so many very small, seemingly ins insignificant ways that uh, a piece of produce could be somehow mishandled. That, that, that there's just no way to guarantee anything. But I think the industry's made tremendous strides in, in educating all the people in the supply chain and introducing new technologies uh, that really make it uh, far better than it was just a few years ago. I'm Philip Alexio, BOA News.